Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today is episode 274. Episode 275 coming out in just a few days here now is going to be the world tour and download so excited to be able to get that in your hands be able to show off this entire world here where in the last episode we came through and built up a heck of a lot of trees terraformed the mountains for quite a few hours and actually worked on the sewers we got a lot of stuff done before but before we get today's episode started i got a question for you all that we ask this one every single time who do you think is going to be the world tour guest next week probably that b right there behind me but anyways, moving on to what we're going to be tackling in today's episode. I've already done quite a bit of work over in the city, starting to prep a few things up because we are going to be building up a manor house. I want to go with something big, something very, very cool to be able to show off to you all when we get this episode live. I wanted to have this one final last major thing added into the world before this episode is finally finished off here. Now that we are all caught up, this whole thing is terraformed out, I want to talk to you a little bit about the plan that we are going to be going for today. As I mentioned, we're going to be building up a manor house. I want to have it kind of filling up the entire hill up here. I, I created this little bit of a stone outcropping on this one so we could have this raised up even further and it feels like it's very tall. It feels very, very large and grand. And I want it to be another key structure that you see around the city. So like we have that church over there, We've got the big tower, we've got the castle, so we're going to be having a manor house up here. It's probably, we might honestly need to do a little bit more terraforming stretching off to that direction. One thing that I do need to do while we're still working on these areas is I want to bring a road through here, through this lower point, and then just kind of have it drop right down here on this side. I think that'll be a pretty good way of getting a street running through here. And first and foremost, before we can actually get to the building of this manor house, I got to go gather up a bunch of stuff. I'm kind of running low on resources in this world so far so we need a lot of white terracotta cobblestone dark oak wood and smooth sandstone but as i mentioned kind of running low on resources these all used to be completely full of everything and they are very empty now hey 37 cobblestone though i was able to wrangle up everything except the white terracotta just over at our there's this that's not nearly enough do we have any regular terracotta that would be in here there oh there's a pretty good sized shulker box of this stuff that's really good. We can take a lot of this and actually just, you know, convert that over to white terracotta using some nice bone meal right down here. I believe I should have enough. And that actually should be enough for us today. That I don't need too much of this stuff. I just need a little bit to be able to make it work. I've got an awesome idea in mind. I can't wait to show it to y'all. I had a feeling this would happen, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more terraforming as we're moving throughout building this structure, just kind of bringing this hill up a little bit further. But our front entryway to get inside is going to be up the staircase and up here, and then the door is going to be kind of somewhere in this point. One thing I did want to show you all pretty quick here Well, I'm kind of getting started. Also, we're going to be using Dark Prismarine on the roof itself, but let's grab a few of these blocks. And where is my Dark Oak Wood? There we go. Uh, but I just want to kind of show you all the general game plan for the pattern or the gradient that we're going to be using. So it's going to be kind of have everything bordered by some stone bricks here at the base. Uh, so we can have something like that. And then these are going to be coming up. And then the stone bricks are probably going to be moved back a block, something like this. So we can get a little bit of a lip around the whole build. Uh, so I guess that'd be something right here. And then we could just kind of get rid of this guy for now. After that, we're going to be bringing in some white terracotta because I think it's going to add a cool little plastered colored look to it. And then to make this manor look a little bit more aged, we're going to be dotting in a little bit of cobblestone into our white terracotta to make it look like the white terracotta is kind of painted over the stones to make it feel more rich and fancy and all that stuff. And if you all remember, I had a little overlay for our cobblestone. So it should look pretty good as we're kind of moving throughout this one. Then we get above that layer right here. We come up to this next layer, which is going to be having a bit of a dark oak trim on it, bringing it actually out another block. 
So we can do something like this just for now. That's all I really have on me. And then we're going to be using a pattern that I've recently fallen in love with is some stripped dark oak wood. And then in the middle of this one, we're going to be having some smooth sandstone. I think it's going to be an awesome color palette. And then on top of this, we're going to have a dark prismarine roof. But I feel like that's going to be a great way that we can get a cool gradient in here. I know a lot of people have recently been asking me how I build gradients and how I kind of come up with these things. And well, it's just kind of these two colors work really, really well together. And I figured that'd be kind of something fun that we could experiment on the structure here. So let me get the layout of what this build's actually going to look like. And I'll come back with you all and we can get started on this part. Welcome on back, folks. We have an insane mess of a system here around us that I want to show you all. So I quickly jumped over here to my camera account because I figured this is the best way to do it since we are on a hill. As we talked about, there's going to be that staircase coming up to it. We have a grand main structure right here in the center on that right hand side. And then that little L shaped one's going to be like a disconnected kitchen of sorts. We're going to have a central garden area inside of here, which we can have some plants in and things. Those little hooked areas, like the big U's right here into the center of the screen, it's going to be like an open air walkway that's also going to be leading over to this corner area. Haven't really decided what's going to be inside of this one. If you have any ideas, be sure to let me know. And then we're going to have another tower here on the corner. The roof is going to be really, really interesting as we start working throughout this one. But I think now is time for me to get the baselines in for a, a lot of these structures so that you all can see the general scale of this thing. It's going to be tall. It's going to be a lot taller than most of the other houses I do. So let's get to it. Just flying out from down here, grabbing a few more blocks so we can use some awesome things up here on our build. And it looks so crazy down here. I love this. I can't wait to get like a sewer system fully set up down here so it's filled in. But right now, it's just really, really cool being able to look at all of the terraforming that we did from the underneath. Like it looks awesome from up here. By the way, I have done a lot of work, uh, but it looks very, very cool from underneath as well. It's kind of like one of those amazement things. All right, we already got our spruce trap doors out of there. I need to make some brown stained glass panes here, but welcome to uh, the new manor. This is kind of where I'm at right now. It's, uh, it's, I'm working on a lot of different little elements as I move throughout this build. I don't want to be fully focused on one because I, I so far have done one being this thing. And then I went back and did something over here and I came back and totally changed this up. But this is how I want to have the style going for the white terracotta. As you can see some areas where I'm bringing it all the way up into the wall. And so it's looking like the white terracotta is being like crumbled away and turning back into the cobblestone and re revealing what was underneath. And I think it's super, super cool. And I've got this little bit of a system set up for our dark oak and smooth sandstone that we're using. Uh, so we got the dark oak there. This is kind of like an open air bit right in there. I think we can actually walk into it if we walk inside our front door, which is right here walk inside of this and uh no we can't get up there right now but we can do this so right now it's pretty simple in here i need to get a few torches just so it's uh, mob safe for now but the important part i want to bring y'all in for was what we're doing on these outside bits so you can see i've started etching out that one that was like eh, i want to try a bigger face first so i came over here and came up with this design we're going for very much like a tudor style using these cross beams being the dark oak here as well over here what we're going to be doing is just setting up a few of these windows i want to keep with this brownish theme that we're going for or these warmer earthy tones so i want to include some brown stained glass panes for our windows and i think that should be pretty good for this one uh i hope that this works out pretty well i still want to come back in and detail a lot of this cobblestone that we have down here adding in a lot of mossy cobblestone and everything along those lines but this is a pretty good setup so far i've just got to get all of the walls in for this dang thing it's a lot of them going through right here well folks this is what i've got so far and it's looking pretty good i like the general shapes of it i do want to mi mix up the roof a bit more i'm thinking a tower right there could be really cool just for breaking it all up but the general way the skyline is working with this structure and with everything else in tow is actually pretty cool i want to fly over here real quick and show y'all what we got going on it's it stands out a good amount i know it's the only structure around it right now but it's basically on the same height levels as that one especially when we get a tower on top of it i think it's going to go really really well together but i want to bring y'all in to show you a new roof design that we are gonna be using here and landed that perfectly. So this one is where they're both coming up towards the center. So they're stepping in a block, stepping in a block and also going at an angle here. So I thought this one would be kind of fun to experiment with a little bit more with y'all because I haven't really done one of these in a long, long time and I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think if we simply just bring ourselves up like this and just go all the way around, it should bring us up to a central point. 
I do want to throw some iron bars on top of this one. I don't have them on me right now, but I think it'd be really cool to have this that top line there being almost like gothic inspired with a bunch of iron bars stretching around it. But like we're getting to this point right here, right, where it's uh, just that one line like these. We're going to have to figure out how it's going to all come together here like that could maybe come up to you and then you and then these are going to all have to come up to being another block on top of this one. Maybe we just bring that up one block instead of two so we could drop this whole layer down. That might actually work out a little bit better for us here. I lowered the entire thing and that would come out to what are we looking at all the way back here. I like that. I want to extend this out and have where that dark oak strip is right across there. We're going to have some stairs running across that lower level as well. But I think overall that shape of it is pretty good. I think that'll work out. Let me test this one out and get it all the way in there and we'll see what it is. The roof is in place now and it looks okay. There's a few things that I do want to change and we're going to be talking about those right now. And most of them are actually going to be these little corner bits. If we come through here and just turn these into some slabs, it should actually help this area feel a little bit better because it'll be dropping those down and it's not those like perfect rounded out edges that we have here. It helps add a little bit more variety into it. So if we take this one, we'll need to fix up a few of these points and turn them so that they work properly. But let's fly back here. I know it's going to be dark because of the nighttime, but let's compare these two sides that we have. Electric check, uh, we're good. 58, we're fine. Uh, but you see that side right there, totally just like weird and or it's totally consistent. This gets a little bit more detail into it. Maybe we can just land on here and use a little bit of F5 action to see it. But like this side here breaks up a little bit more. Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe just these corner ones. We don't do that at all because that little lip that we had there was still a bit harsh. I'm trying to make it smooth, smoothing it out so it feels a little bit more rounded than anything. But while we are up here, I was looking at this spot and seeing like, wow, that's a huge flat face right here. So I want to come over from this one. Maybe we can come over to like right about here or so break these ones out and we can throw a little bit of like another window for ourselves right in here. So we can take these strip all these down and go one, two and three, one, two and three. And then we bring our smooth sandstone in and then I'm thinking we do a double little double uh, brown stained glass paint in there. That should be pretty good. We can get rid of those. I'll grab them when we get down there later on. But after this, we can bring in these stairs that we have again, being the dark prismarine, extend this stuff out. And that should help to break up the roof here a little bit further because it was starting to feel very flat in these areas. I think I'm going to add two windows on the backside because there's not a whole lot going on there right now. The backside is uh, a lot more plain than this front one is. So I think we need to spend a little bit more time working on that. But that right there looks much, much better, even though it's even it's like a different style of roof than we had on the other ones. But I think it's going to be pretty good. And as you can see on this backside, very, very flat. I got to figure that side out. I mean, there are a lot of creepers. Let's fly away from here. This structure is starting to feel very large and very grand. I've added in our back cooking area, the kitchen building and all that. It, it's really cool back here. I'm really, really a big fan of this one. I think I have a little bit more scaffolding on me so we can go up a little bit higher but it's looking awesome. I decided to mess with the roof design a bit here. So we've got two windows on the second floor for this one. Let's actually jump down here a sec. Uh, so this one right here, just to give you all a better idea, is we have a little bit of that cobblestone and white terracotta in here. You get almost that like pinkish vibe, but somehow it's white, I don't really know. Uh, and then we're coming up to the next level. We got some little tiny windowy bits right in here. And then this is really, really cool on the roof. Uh, the chimney is kind of sticking out itself. I had the roof kind of come back a bit and then decided to bring it in like a second layer right here almost. It's really kind of wonky and weird, but I think it worked out pretty well. I wish, uh, honestly, I wish I'd made this this part of the structure uh, to like a block wider in each way. So we could still have this. We could still have like an extra layer of the roof going out like further down on the sides. But I think it's okay as is. It's looking pretty good right now. We've got a lot of extra detail bits in. The, the These windows are in up here as well. I can't remember if I showed those to you guys, but that's kind of where I placed those ones. One thing I was messing with, if we can jump over to the far side of the structure here, is I started to add in a little bit of the dark oak leaf action hanging down from this one, making it look like ivy almost. And I think it looks awesome, especially from far away. It looks so, so good. Uh, we could jump on this wonky looking building over here, but like that little bit right there adds so much to the build. I also added a few flower pots on the on the little tiny windows we had there. Next thing that I'm going to focus on is I want to get that big tower in. I want to do that guy before I experiment with one sticking out to the top of the structure because I want to see if that would balance it well as it is right now or if we need to get one of those. 
but I think my plan is for this one is to kind of make it a white terracotta one going all the way up using some strips around it, like circles using some stone bricks like we have in there. And I think it'll look pretty cool. It's going to be a basic tower shape, but it should look good. It should look good. Let me get that one in. And I'll show you all. Rendition number one of our tower here. I think it's starting to be okay. I've been dotting in a little bit more cobblestone throughout it and breaking up the texture there. Honestly, I think I just need to make the base a little bit wider. I don't like how it comes straight down into the bottom. So I was thinking if we grab a little bit more cobblestone on us, which should be in here, we can do that. We can grab this. Let's take, we can get a bunch of stairs in here and then we can get a good amount of, oh, that's more stairs. <laughs> I was going to say we can get a good amount of slabs like those guys. And apparently we've got a lot of stairs to use, but we can come up here and start bringing the base of this structure out. Like just basically just cramming a bunch of stuff around here. I know it's going to be a little hard on this edge right here where we have all of the stone coming in that we did on that terraforming earlier. But I think we can just start kind of bringing in the cobblestone down here and just making it look like it's kind of been piled up and is using to really, really strengthen this area. But we start doing some stuff like this and then bringing out a lot of the slabs and things along here. And then maybe we even take you do a stair right there. And overall, this should help to bring it together a little bit more than it was beforehand because it just it was flat going into just straight into the ground and it wasn't working too well. But I think that is a little bit better than what we had before. Obviously, we still need to finalize a few of the details around this place, but I think it's coming along. I think it's coming along quickly, actually, uh, for the amount of time I put into this project. I'm really liking the result of it so far as far as like efficiency sakes goes. But yeah, that's much better. I need to get the roof on there and finish up. It's just going to be a plain dark oak roof, so it helps contrast pretty well with this guy over here. I also want to introduce you all to my new friend over here. We've got Frankie. He's just been hanging out. I decided to name him because he was chilling out here, and I figured forever Frankie the Spider can live in this part of the manor. <laughs> I love him. I think he's great. He just kind of hangs out here. He's been sitting here the whole time. He just kind of stares at you. He doesn't really move. I think he's somehow stuck in the trap door, but we've got a name for Frankie now. He's, he's going to live there forever. Went for a quick Elytra repairing session, and this is looking so cool so far. In the nighttime, I really really like this structure. It looks like Frankie has a few friends over for the evening, so I think we should probably set this up to daytime and finish up the rest of this build, because we got another thing to tackle in today's episode, so I'm gonna get this one done and we'll get to the next project. Frankie, I ask you to do one thing and keep your friends under control. Come on, buddy. This has turned into something else. Uh, we got the shaders on here because it just looks absolutely amazing with them. And I just couldn't help but show it to y'all like this. And it's so, so cool. Let's see if we can't land up here on top of this pillar and check this out. Let's let's crank that FOV down and we could just take a gander here at this little building. I love this one. I've got the back structures in. I haven't done the garden area yet and I haven't really done anything in this front spot. But the structure for the most part is pretty much cleaned up. I need to get some mossy stone on me real quick and I want to show you a quick detail thing that we can do right in here to make it look super cool. Let me grab that, I'll be right there with you. So one thing I would highly recommend for folks who want to do large builds like this, instead of just doing the smattering where you just kind of like dot it in all over the place, you just kind of do like this, this, whatever, we're just kind of like throw in all of our mossy stone and kind of leave it there and we're like, cool, that's texture variation, we're good, right? Well, no, I would say don't do that one quite here because there's something that we can do to make the build actually feel like you still want to add variation to this. Maybe we'll add in a little bit of andesite or maybe some stone in there too and just add some variation to it. But for your mossy stones, for your greens and the things like this that you're adding in, if you pick the corner of the build where a lot of water or just kind of just different stuff would be flowing. Okay, I don't have connected textures in, so let's leave that one off there. Uh, but if we pick a corner, kind of like what I'm doing right here, it'll actually look like it's a lot more mossy. It'll look a lot more mossy instead of just kind of like a green stone. So this way it looks like a lot of the water might maybe where the roofs all come together, where they all kind of come to this conjoining part right here. A lot of the water would run off to there, come off down here, and they would trickle off the edge of this and kind of loop around the corner there and just come down this wall, right? 
that makes a lot of sense if you think about the way that the water would be flowing in like crazy downpours, rain and all that stuff. So you can kind of start to just dot those in here and make it look like that water is gathering up and allowing for a bunch of moss to grow in the corner bits of the building. So if we add in a bunch of moss to those areas kind of like that where you have these little 90 degree angles on the corners of buildings, it'll actually make it look much, much better. Figured we would get the last shot of this build here without any shaders on and that is the final product for this build this thing took way longer than i thought it would but it's so so cool i decided to come over here and install a sort of a vineyard a little bit making it look like there's some vines growing over here just some decorative ones because it's a fancy fancy manor after all so i thought a few little decorative vine bushes would be pretty sweet I brought in a little bit of a, one of our aspen trees right there, some more leaves and everything, and haven't really detailed out the other sides because I don't know where the other buildings are going to go. But this thing looks absolutely awesome. I love this build. I love this structure so, so very much. I actually did a little bit of work on the garden in the back here, adding in a, a small custom tree right there, just being one of those little guys. And we got some benches and a table with a little bit of a flower pot action on it. And a bunch of little plants around here so you know it's nice and bright and colorful and shiny and i had a frankie's one of frankie's friends again came through and actually blew up that area i started doing a little bit of interior work and looked at the clock and i was like yeah that's not happening today so this one is going to be left for you all to tackle as you want in the world download that for the everybody who's getting that one i want to do a quick reminder here as we're flying over to the next project location that the world download is going to be available for anybody who is a current uh patreon supporter of at least the stone tier or any twitch prime subs twitch subs youtube members all of that if any type of a membership anywhere uh, you will be able to get access to the world download. However, for the remainder of today's episode, going to be super quick here as we finish off, just because it's one of those things that I got to tackle. We have the Patreon head cave down here, which looks absolutely not. It looks awesome. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Okay. That, I, re I remember that I distinctly left this area dark, so I'd have to fight mobs every time I want to get down here, and I hate myself for that. Uh, but coming down here, it's looking super sweet. I've got a lot of stuff on me, just all of the junk that we had when we were working on that project, and I think I can get things going down here with that. But this is supposed to be like a dwarven ruins area, almost inspired by the Dwemer from Skyrim. And we come into here. It looks super sweet. I don't think mobs are able to spawn on these different areas, but we've got the heads for everybody who supported me on Patreon at one time in the past or something like that. So I'm going to be working on expanding these ones out. We started clearing out this section to get some more work done. I was hoping to actually build this section today, but I think all I'm going to really have time for is getting another section like this thing duplicated right over there. We've got one long hallway over there, and we've got a brand new long hallway over here with everybody's names on their player heads and everything like that. If you see a few of them around here, unfortunately, like A20F05, unfortunately, I think that means they changed their Minecraft name and it no longer works. So folks, if you are, are an active patron or one of those, please be sure to reach out to me and let me know if you've updated your Minecraft name. That would be super helpful. But we've got a bunch of awesome people down here. I just want to quickly walk through and say a great thank you. Thank you, everybody, so very much for the long-term support on Patreon and everything like that. You have no idea how amazing it has been to have an awesome com Patreon community like I have here. That is honestly, these people here are part of the reason why I am able to do this job full-time. Everybody inside of here, everybody down this way, and all of that stuff. There's whole loads more people all the way down here. Every single time I come down here, I'm just so so thankful all of these player heads are just people who have helped me to achieve one of my greatest goals in life which is to do what i want to do and do what i love to do for a long time i didn't know what that was and thank i so just thank you to everybody down here who has helped me donated or anything like that to become a full-time youtuber and do this and play minecraft for a living honestly i I don't know how I can thank these people enough for this one. Fun fact, this skin right here that Doom Matthew is rocking, that was the original skin that I used for my Minecraft character way, way back when in like 1.6. Use the Tasmanian Devil. Coming back above ground, I want to walk through the city one last time before we end off the final episode before our world tour. I just want to extend another thank you again to the patrons, the Twitch subs, everybody, honestly. Y'all are amazing people. And even on top of that, the people who are just watching the video, scrolling by and 
clicking on this video and not subscribed to the channel just thank you for giving me a chance thank you so very much for taking the time to click on any of these videos and all of that stuff honestly y'all have changed my life completely i hated what i did for work before this i worked in tech support and it wasn't the kindest thing to do day in and day out it was, you're never on the winning side when you're in tech support i'm sure as many of you all know what's up with that one but anyways just thank you all so very much 274 episodes of building inside one single player survival world that's kind of brought the channel to the point where it is at today and i'm so excited for where we're going to be going off in the future next episode we have an awesome tour guest lined up i'm so very excited for that one i'm actually going to be recording that tour here in about an hour so really cutting it close to the wire on this one i'm trying to get this episode finished before that tour is recorded but anyways i do hope you all have enjoyed today's episode on this house right here this big manor of sorts i've been playing with the idea now that you know things are a little weird on youtube right now Basically what's happening, long story short, is the revenue people make on YouTube has been, be, due to the virus and everything going on right now, nobody wants to spend money on marketing. So the amount of money that we get from ad revenue has more or less been cut by 50%. <laughs> it's uh, It's been a little weird. So I've been thinking about trying a few fun, different styles of videos coming up here in the near future. And I thought it would be a fun one to kind of do some tutorials on maybe some structures inside the city or things like that. Just quick ones for people to use and add some of these styles into their own world. So if you all want to be seeing a tutorial on this one, be sure to let me know that down in the comments below. And why is it raining? But anyways, everybody, let me know if you want to be seeing this build in a tutorial format if you want to build it yourself or anything like that or maybe just more like this style i really had a lot of fun with this one but please be sure to hit that like button down below if you're still watching me ramble on at this point it means a lot to me thank you all so very much for doing that love you very much for it and subscribe if you are brand new and i will catch you on the flip side spank you spank you spank you very much